In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's lift up our mind and hearts to Mary and to the Sacred Heart. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's pray now to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle within us the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. Now shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of your faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the same Spirit may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lady Fatima, pray for us. St. Margaret Mary Lacoque, pray for us. Today, my friends, is the first Friday of the month of May. The first Friday is a day in which we try to honor in a very special way what you can see here is the most sacred heart of Jesus. And he says, come to me, all of you are weary, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. You'll find rest for your souls, because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus promised to that great saint who appeared to in the 1600s. St. Margaret Mariella Cook. Twelve special blessings or graces or promises for those who honor the most sacred heart of Jesus. So very briefly, I'd like to go through those twelve promises, inviting all of you to cultivate a greater love, confidence, and devotion in the sacred heart and to also promote this devotion far and wide. First promise of Jesus is this. He said to St. Margaret Mary Ella Cook and to all of us, he said, I will give them all the graces necessary in their state of life. So if you're married or single or priest or religious, Jesus promises to give you graces necessary for you to live out your state of life and to arrive at perfection, to arrive at holiness. Second, he said, is I will establish peace in their homes. So many homes today, there's conflict, there's anger, there's resentment, there's bitterness, there's sadness. Jesus promises that peace will reign in your heart if you place him in his sacred heart in the center. Third is, he says, I will comfort them in all their afflictions. We all have to carry crosses. The cross might be physical cross, economic, social, psychological, emotional, spiritual. There's so many different crosses that we have to carry. But if we carry them with the sacred heart, he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So come to the Lord with your sorrows and sufferings and as Peter says, cast your cares upon the Lord, because he watches over you. The fourth is Jesus says, I will be there, secure refuge during life, and above all, in death. So when you're dying, the sacred heart of Jesus will draw close to you, so that you can die in the state of grace. And as St. Alfonso Liguri says, the grace of all graces is to die in the state of grace. He promises you that he'll be your refuge in, that, in those last moments. The fifth is, he says, sinners will find in my heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Even the hardest heart, even the most difficult sinner can find mercy if he turns to the sacred heart of Jesus. As we see in the good thief who turned to Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus forgave him and opened up heaven for this man who lived a very sinful life. Then he says, Jesus says, I will 
bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. So your activities, your actions, will be blessed by Jesus if you have devotion to a sacred heart. Then he also says that lukewarm souls shall become fervent. Very easy for us to move from a fervent life into a life of lukewarmness. But if we love the sacred heart, he said, my heart, the heart of Jesus is a burning furnace of charity, we pray in the litany. Our lukewarmness will disappear. Now the eighth, he says, fervent souls shall quickly mount to high perfection. So if you're fervent in your devotion to God, your fervor is going to grow stronger and stronger until you reach heaven. Then the ninth, he says, I will bless every place in which an image of my heart is exposed and honored. So hopefully in your house, you have a statue or you have maybe painting the, sa the sacred heart. If you do, he promises that he will bless your home and bless those who enter into your home, bless those who live there and even the people that visit you. Then he says, number 10, I will give to priests the gift of touching the most hardened hearts. Pray for priests, that we will have a great devotion to divine mercy in the sacred heart so that we'll be able to touch and be the instrument of conversion of a vast multitude of souls. Pray for priests. Pray for our conversion. Pray that we'll be willing to go after the lost sheep. Then he says, those who shall promote this devotion shall have their names written in my heart. So look at the heart of Jesus. If you promote devotion, your name will be written in the sacred heart of Jesus for all eternity. And then finally, number 12, Jesus says, I promise you in the excessive mercy of my heart that my all-powerful love will grant to those who receive Holy Communion on the first Fridays in nine consecutive months the grace of final perseverance. They shall not die in my disgrace, nor without receiving their sacraments, my divine heart, will be their safe refuge in this last moment. So, go to Mass today. Go to Mass today and receive Holy Communion. And do this nine consecutive uh, First Fridays. And Jesus promises you many special blessings. But receive Holy Communion in reparation for your sins and the sins of the whole world. So my friends, those are the 12 promises of the Sacred Heart of Jesus to St. Margaret Mariella Cook. I hope and pray that on this first Friday of the month, you will cultivate a deep love for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And tomorrow is the first Saturday of the month, so the first Saturday of the month is dedicated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. My friends, we cannot separate the Sacred Heart of Jesus from the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Actually, the Sacred Heart of Jesus was actually formed in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So I will give you a very special blessing in honor of the Sacred Heart. So may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones through the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.